recently witnessed how a negative situation brought about positive results. In this past year, I encountered the biggest negative situation in my life so far, the passing of King Rama IX of Thailand. And I believe it's not just me, many Thais truly felt the same way too. In the first few days, I was crying, believing that Thailand has lost its heart, its moral compass, its father. But when several days passed by, I started to see some positive results. In recent years, we witnessed disagreements among Thais, especially when it came to politics. We were obviously less united than we should have been. But in October 2016, the Thais, no matter what age, gender, religious beliefs, political beliefs, were all together at the Grand Palace. We were united in grief. Although the Thais know much about our king, all his good deeds and all the things he's done to benefit Thailand and its people, but when he passed away, even more information was shared about his remarkable life. Since I'm musically inclined, I got interested about the songs he composed, and I spent some time listening to every single one of them, and this is when my outlook started to improve. The King's eighth song is called Ati Up Sang, or Blue Day, and it dealt with matter of the heart. The lyrics explain that when one's lover is by his or her side, the world seems to be such a beautiful world, the sun happily shines brightly, and every light is in bloom. But when one's lover is away, the world seems to be horrible, the sun hides away, and every light becomes totally depressing. Then I thought, this is just like the current situation. When the king was here with us, Thailand seemed bright, energetic, and wonderful. But when he left us, the world turned to be really dark, the sky turned to be really dark, and wherever it went, everybody was wearing black. But it didn't have to be all bad. Black united us, and black reminded us that we are one. Although our loved one is away, he left us much stronger because we had each other. Another one of the king's songs is called Saifon, A Falling Rain, and it gave me hope. Although we're in such a dark period, we can still have hope. Many people symbolize rain and great clouds as sadness, but the king tells us that rain is a gift from nature. Rain helps flowers and plants bloom, and when nature is in bloom, our lives will bloom. Rain also helps Thai farmers avoid drought, and though it may inconvenient at many times, and at many times destructive, it always puts people to prefer. They either enjoy its many benefits, or unite in assisting each other after its devastation. In this situation, although the types look up and see such a dark sky, but at least they are sharing their grief, their sadness together under the same sky. The king, through this song, helped me see the silver lining to this gray cloud, which also helped me address the current situation, a current problem. My friends and I are busy applying for universities, often focusing on one dream institution and thinking that life would not be the same should one get rejected. But if we apply the King's message, shouldn't we focus on the positive? Another university in another country might give us better friends, better environment, or even a better climate. We might end up thanking the university that rejected us for providing us with such an opportunity that we have overlooked. The King tells us that rain gives hope, but he also tells us to keep on smiling. The King's 16th song is called Im Suu, or Smiles, and it tells us to remain positive and smile in the face of obstacles. No matter how dark the world is, don't be frightened, smile, learn, and move on. This song was originally composed for the blind to give them hope and courage, and without our late king, we are puzzled and lost as if we were blind. But the king's songs and his teachings help put us back on the correct path again. So in the spirit of the song and in the spirit of the king, here are a few lessons I leave you with. If you make a mistake in life, smile and thank it. Thank it for teaching you something that will be helpful for you in the future. Even though you might be regret, even embarrassment, remember that you now have the tools 
that would help you prevent the same mistake in the future. Also, if any of you, if any of you happen to witness dark days, I want you to know that it's okay to fall down because you'll get back up again. You can stay down for as long as you wish, but when you feel like getting back up, just search for that silver lining. In my life, I have learned so many things from the king, and this is the lesson I received on the saddest day when he passed away. We're not living in utopia, and I was never an optimist, but the king proved to me that positive things, no matter big or small, really do exist in the negative. The silver lining will always be there, and like the king and many ties believe, the sky is most beautiful after the rain. Thank you.